January 12th. Uh, this is a financial maths uh, video. The video is on final payment with reduced value. What it means that um, you will pay a particular month and amount until the last payment. The last payment will be reduced compared to the other ones, meaning that it will be less. So we're going to calculate that. Let's look at an example. They say Tabu borrows 5,000 from a micro lender at an interest rate of 28% compounded monthly. He repays the loan by means of equal monthly payments of 800 rand and a final payment of less than 800. So he'll, be pay, he'll pay back 800 and uh, less. And the last one will be less than 800. Then the first question says, determine the number of payments of 800. How many 800 payments will he make? Now, with the grade 12 uh, questions, you need to remember that which formula to use when. When you borrow, you eat money now, present. You use the present value. When you go to your formula sheet, the present value has a P. When you put money away, you're going to eat the money in the future. So it's the future value. The formula has an F. Once you choose the wrong formula, you lose a lot of marks. You are actually calculating the wrong thing. Okay, so this one, Tabo borrows. He eats the 5,000 now. He eats this 5,000 in the present, the money that he doesn't have. So we're going to use the present value formula. Take your formula sheet. Look at the formula sheet. Very easy for you. The present value has a P for present. Please, grade 12, don't write the formula sheet off your head. Your head is not functioning correctly. You are writing exams. You'll be very tired. Look at the formula and write the formula from the formula sheet. I'm writing it from the formula sheet as well now. Don't forget the, um, the minus or the present value formula. Usually learners, they leave that out. Now, they are asking me, asking us how 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 many 800 payments will, will, will he make? So it means they want N. Okay. How much loan did he take? It's 5,000. How? These are monthly payments. 800. One minus one plus interest. 28 percent so 28 divided by 100 is 0 0.28 divided by compounded monthly by 12 right and then they want n so i want the number of payments that uh, 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 I'll, I'll be doing so you're actually going to calculate for n and then the i is the interest is 0 comma Two eight divided by twelve. Right now, we're gonna get rid of the this denominator. I'm gonna multiply both sides by zero comma two eight divided by twelve. I'm gonna multiply here, then it will cancel out. I'm gonna multiply that. So I'm gonna have five thousand multiplied by fraction zero comma two eight. Divided by 12. So leave it as a fraction. So I'll have 350 over 3. Then here I'll be left with 800 into 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.28 over 12 to power minus n. Then I'm closing the bracket. I've, I've cancelled that both sides. That's why I have this. Now, the next thing, I, I must get rid of the 800. So, I'm going to divide by 800 both sides. So, I have the 350 divided by 3, then divide by 800. So, now I have a 7 over 48. Is equals to, I've divided that, I'm left with a 1. I don't need that bracket anymore because the bracket was for multiplying the, the 800. So, I'm left with 1 minus 1 plus 0, 0,28 over 12 to the power minus n. Take the 1 to the other side. Then it will be 7 
fraction 7 over 48 minus 1. No, 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 not minus 1 there. Minus 1. This one to the other side. Then my answer will be minus 41 over 48 is equal to minus. Then I have that bracket 1 plus 0, 0,28 over 12 to the power minus n. Minus this side, minus this side. I multiply by minus both sides. The minus goes away. Then it will be positive. Right, because I want the exponent, I'm going to use logs. You're going to use logs that you learn in, in when you're doing financial maths and we're doing the inverse of a exponential graph. We use logs. So according to the logs, the, 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 the one that is an exponent becomes my answer. So I have my minus n is equals to log. Okay, this is the base. Okay, this is my power in my base. So it becomes a base here. 1 plus 0, 0,28 over 12. And then that thing that was an answer, that it becomes here. Then you go 41 over 48. Right? Then you take your calculator. You punch all of this in your calculator. You go for the lock button. Here's the lock. There are two locks. There's this lock. This one is base 10. You don't use that one. You use the one that has a color thing in it so that you can put those values that are there. You go lock and then on the bottom there, open bracket, 1 plus fraction 0, 0,28, go down, 12, then close bracket. Then I go to the other one, that's a fraction 41 over 48 and I go equals to and then I have a minus n in my calculator I have negative 6 comma 8 3 4 0 3 7 6 don't round it off right and then you see you have a negative n and a negative n you multiply both sides with a negative, they become positive. The negative is going to go away. Now let's look at the question. The question says, determine the number of payments at 800. How many payments you would have paid 800 rands? You have, would have paid six payments of 800 rands. The whole number tells you the number of payments of the full amount. So your A, your answer will be six payments. Right? And for your B, they say, what will the value of the final payment? The final payment, you use the fraction part of the of your answer, of your N. You use the fraction part to find uh, how much will the last payment be. Let me show that you that now. Okay, for number B, the final payment, you use the future value. You write the future value. formula one minus bracket one plus i minus n over i right and then we want the how much the final payment will be that was eight hundred one minus i plus interest was 28% 0, 0,28 compounded monthly divided by 12. Now, when you get here, when you want the final payment, you take the decimal part of your answer. You remember we got a 6,83, so you go 0, 0,83, and then write as all the decimals 376. Right, then close bracket divided by your interest is 0 0.28 divided by 12, and then you punch all of that in your calculator. 
to go fraction 800 open bracket 1 minus open bracket 1 plus fraction 0.28 go down 12 close bracket and then fraction then you go minus 0, comma, write all the decimals 40 40376 right then you put down then fraction for the interest 0 0.28 over 12 ah see that error that i was talking about there's a bracket i didn't close then go back this is the first bracket, the second bracket. See here, I didn't close this bracket. That's why I have that error. I didn't panic, went, closed the bracket, then got the answer. So, it means the last mm, payment will be no will not be 653,26 it means after paying the last 800 this money will be left to be paid but the catch is you're gonna pay that money at the end of the month so you need to calculate one month interest for this amount so you're gonna use the grade 11 formula of the um, uh, compound interest. Let me look at the formula. I just forgot the formula now. Of the compound interest, it's one plus i to the power n. So, I will have the p there. Your p is 653,28 into one plus interest is 0, 0,28 over 12. And then it's one because it's just one payment. You are not going to pay in the last month that money the, you, that money is when you is the money that will be left when you have paid the last 800 now there will be a month before you pay that that's why you need to calculate the one month interest that will be added to that amount so you are actually going to pay for the last in payment 0, 0.28 over 12 into 12 no I made a mistake so 653,26 open bracket 1 plus fraction 0, 0,28 go down 12 it go out You are actually going to pay 668.50 cents. You see, it's a little bit more than that because they're going to charge you the interest for the last payment. So you're going to pay that. So this activity, what, what, why we are teaching you this in, in the status? One reason is to see that loans are expensive. If you can, put money away. Don't take a loan. When you look at all these questions, when you, you, the interest for, for a loan, it will be higher than the investment. So you rather invest, invest, and then buy later. In your life, use the future value, not the present value. Don't eat money that is not yours. It's going to cost you more. Okay. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you subscribe. Please, please do subscribe. Uh, your, your subscription are very, very good. Thank you.